Hello, and welcome to Mermaid Swamp. It's dark out, all the lights are off in my room, and we're going to play Mermaid Swamp version 2. Let's start it. I'm scared. I am very afraid. This game contains grotesque and somewhat sexual images. Please be mindful of this as you play. The offer takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damage damages indirectly brought about by the game. That must mean it's good. What the? Am I underwater? What the hell am I doing? Somebody there? No. Rin, wake up. Stop sleeping, Arnie, for crying out loud. Ah, shut up. I was just taking a nap. Is that so bad? Oh, hell of a nap. You t Utah's been driving all this time, and you've just been snoozing in the back. Sheesh, not a hint of a lady in this one. Not exactly interested in being ladylike for an early balding punk like you. Rise and shine, Rin. And I'm going to, I'm going to guess you slept well, given you started around noon. Yeah, but thanks to Baldy here, more of a rude awakening. Quit yammering, yammer, Zaki. Hey, Yuka, Yuta. Where are we anyway? You said something about kicking things into high gear, but are we in the mountains or what? Ah, huh, my bad. I don't know where this is either. Huh? You're telling me we're lost? Yep, don't have the first clue where we are. You gotta be kidding. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. Sorry about that. I mean, I did kind of know at first, but the fog just got so thick. <laughs> this ain't funny, shrimp face. This is exactly why I didn't want to go on no trip in your lousy old GPS-less car. How? Don't kick the seat. Well, now, what do we do? I can't even see if there are any signs. Huh? Yuta? Why did you stop? I didn't. It just stopped. Hold on. Try the engine. Oh crap. I think it's totally busted. Are you for real, dude? You dumbass. Ugh. Wait here. I'll go out and take a look. Whoa. Brock. I did not know that I was going to be playing as a girl. Just not expecting this. This is a disaster. Sorry about my mouse. Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? So what now? We've acknowledged that it's not broken. Can I get back in the car now? Let me back in. Come on. Alright, what's going on? Do we hit something? Huh. Where are we going? <gasps> S somebody there? Who are you? You're hideous. Quite a surprise. What would we be doing up in the mountains, miss? Just an old coot. Damn it. Don't freak me out. We're on a trip, but our car went kaput, so I guess we're stuck. That's very unfortunate. Is there any th anywhere you can stay? Nah. If we can't get it running, I guess we'll be spending the night in the car. You don't need to do that. My home is nearby. You can stay there. Even if it's summer. It's quite cold in the nights. Huh? For real? Well, let me talk to some of my buds. That's a relief. Thanks, old man. But you sure? We don't want to pressure you. Well, I'm a landlord around here. You see, my house is much bigger than my needs. I would appreciate some young folks to make use of it. I'm really grateful. We'll get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. Ah, I can see it now. Whoa, that place is huge. Damn, not to mention, I kind of feel bad, Gramps, but thanks. Whoa, 
It's really roomy inside here, too. You gotta be rich, am I right? Huh? <laughs> rich enough to be ashamed of the state of this old place, perhaps. Come along, I'll show you to your rooms. You can use this room, Miss Wren. Forgive the old fashionedness. It ain't nothing. I kind of like the whole retro thing. Thanks again, Gramps. I'm sure you're all hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Until then, make yourself at home. Oh, cool. Chest. A chest for valuables, maybe. There's nothing inside, though. Can we go to sleep? Sleepy. Eh. I guess I can't go to sleep. What's this? An electrical outlet. Okay. Like, oh, there we go. I can move. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Alright, let's get out of here. This place is boring. Hello. Which one of my friends is in here? Oh, look. Some guy. It ain't that old of a building, really. You see that older place out back? Now that's old. Huh? There's another mansion out back? The old man tells me they built one, this one a generation ago since the, the other one's fallen apart. Huh. A large swamp can be seen in front of the house. Nothing inside. Hmm. This is very peculiar. The car just randomly breaks down. Got an old man offering you to stay inside of his mansion. He's cooking in the kitchen. Hmm. I don't have much food on hand for guests. Would chicken and egg on rice be alright? What? I kind of prefer something briefer. Like, literally brief, beefier. Unfortunately, I'm out of beef. I must apologize. Oh well, I'll eat anything on this stomach. Or maybe on most stomachs. Haha, <laughs> alright. A rice cooker. That painting. It's a mermaid. Can we spasm this? Yeah, look at that. Disco mermaid activate. Sorry. Clock. Whoa, alright. What's this painting, I wonder? Another mermaid. She's not very creepy, though. Is this a bathroom? Is one at a bathroom? Is this a hot tub? Is one at a hot tub? Funny how that works, isn't it? This guy's a really nice house. Like a toilet. I love toilets. What's this, a sink? Oh, and look, he's got everything. A toilet, a sink. What's, what happens if we go here? Oh, we can leave the house? Whoa, that's one big swamp. Hmm? A tablet. What's this, a stone monument? Uh, a man did abduct from the seashore. Crap, I can't read this. Maybe Seattle will know about the old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument? <gasps> Jeez, old man. You gotta not do that. Oh, my apologies. Did you read the inscription? Nah, couldn't make out heads it couldn't make heads or tails of it. What does it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of the so called mermaid swamp. Legend. It originated in the middle of Mi Miji era. My family has governed this area since around that time. It is said that the son of a leader descended in the mountains down the seaside and discovered a mermaid. Sounds shady right out of the gate. Huh? Well, it is a legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty, he took her to his mountain home. He created a fish tank for her living, and he filled it with water with water from his very swamp. But a mermaid of the sea cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and became quite ugly. Her clear skin s swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice, as melodic as ringing bells, was reduced to a beastly howl. The mermaid took on the most repulsive form and sub subsequently died. And the mermaid's wrath is no pretty thing. Young women have vanished from the nearby village and it is said to be the mermaid's curse. As such, this monument was put here to mourn her. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless, yes? Uh, sorry. Don't know about all that stuff. Tell it to Sino Taro. He likes stories and stuff. Alright. Well, I prepared dinner now, so come into the dining room, would you? Oh, finally. Let's get a move on.
Mm, delish. This is some great stuff, old man. I'm glad you like it. You can slow down a little, though. Ah, uh, the bath is free if anyone wants to use it. You must be tired from the day's events. Please rest yourselves. Yuka, you aren't, you aren't gonna eat? What's up? Yeah, I guess I'm just too tired to have an appetite. Whoa, you okay? Clean up, you can get some rest. Alright, thanks, Yuka. Yuta. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, y'all clean up now. Why do I have to clean up after you? Do it yourself, Yama Yucky. Yeah. Work on your names while you're at it. Man, I'm stuffed. I'm ready to conk out after that bath. Time to sleep. Alright, we're gonna go to bed. And when we finish sleeping, we'll wake up in the next episode. See you in the next time, in the epic conclusion. Probably not a conclusion, because this game is actually supposed to be pretty long. Of Mermaid Swamp.